Hi dress it, Katie's Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Sarah from Hocus Pocus. So let's get started. To draw this cute Sanderson sister, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right next to it, say about right here, this wide, and draw another circle. So now my two circles in, let's come in here with two smaller circles for highlights and make them draw so cute eyes and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Now my eyes in, let's go ahead and come to the sides right here. We're going to spruce them up with some lashes. So come up here and maybe just two curves on the sides. Maybe one longer and then one a little bit shorter. Then from there, let's draw her brow. So come up about right here. And we're just going to draw a soft arc right above the eye. And same thing over here. I'm just thicken it up a little bit. There. And let's give her a big smile. So right in between the eyes about right here. Let's give her a smirk smile. Slightly goes up and cap it off. And before I forget, I'm just going to come right underneath her mouth and just give this little dot of her beauty mark. Then from there, I'm going to draw her face. But today, instead of going at the top right here, I'm going to come to the center. So the center of your eye, come out just a little bit really close. Give myself a point right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and draw the bottom of a U. So we're just going to curve and curve. And I'm just going to find my center. So say about right here, give myself a point. So just kind of imagining where I want my curve to go. And about right here, turn your body or the paper to draw your curve. And then go ahead and connect there. So the bottom of a U. Then we're going to come back up, just imagining the face as an oval. Come back to the center. So I'm just going to say about right here. Just give myself a point. So from here, I'm going to curve and wiggle a little bit really close to the brow, really close to the eye, and then come out. So that's why I'm starting right here. Whatever space I have left, I'm just going to fill it in because she has hair that's parted in the center and it's coming to the sides of her face. So I'm just going to get really close and just go ahead and flare it out. There. Then from there, I'm going to come back to the center and go up and say about right here, I'm going to start to part on both sides. So let's bring this down. We're going to come down to about right here and then we're just going to start to wobble a little bit. Her hair is very curly towards the bottom. So same thing here. I'm just going to start to wobble a little bit there. And come back in here and just draw some parting lines if you like. And um, before I finish her hair, let's go ahead and draw her body. So I'm going to come right back to the center, about right here and here. And I'm going to give her a little neck and then curve out for her shoulders. Curve out for her shoulders. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's go ahead and we're going to draw this cloak that's over her shoulder. So let's come back to about right here and I'm just going to draw this curve for her neckline. And then we're going to split it right here and then let's bring it over. Let's wrap it over. We're going to angle it out. And then we're just going to wait before we finish that. Let's just imagine where her armpit area would be. So her arms, so I'll say about right here. This is kind of like where her armpits would be, right? So we're just going to come right here. And just draw an angle line to about right there to give her a waist. So then whatever space, well, let's see here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and we're going to come back right here. We're just going to imagine her arms are coming down. We're just going to connect. 
So same thing here. Just connect for her cloak. And if you like, you can even pop this up a little bit. There. Okay, so then in between, we're just gonna draw a soft curve right in between. And I'll just fill this space in. Then from there, let's come back to this. Now that we're pretty level on both sides, we're gonna come down with a curve and towards the center, we're gonna round it off and then go right back up. Then there's this little ruffle part on her skirt. So let's pop this out and this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and come back to about right here and then just ruffle it, curve, curve and connect. So same thing here. Curve, curve, and connect. And then you come back in here, just with some lines lightly to give it some texture. Then let's continue her skirt. So we're gonna come back in a little bit and just come out. There, so let's bring this down. So take a step back, see how long you want to make it. So say about right here, we're not going to draw any feet. So we want it pretty long. So I'll just say about right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wobble my way down. And towards the center, it's going to be a little bit lower. And then we're going to go right back up. And then let's come back in here for some details. There's some colors. So I'm just going to come right here and just wobble a little bit different layers in her skirt. And I'm purposely making it a little bit wobbly. And down there. I'm drawing some of these lines. If you like. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and we're going to draw her arms. So this side is just going to come to the side. So let's come back to where her armpit area is. And then we're just going to come in. And we're just going to curve out. So I want her hands to be about right here. So I'm going to put them back. And thicken up her arms. And about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a thumb. And then some fingers. Just come out and flare it out and connect. You can add a little finger right here in the back. And then let's give her some sleeves right here. Then the other side, just want it on her hips. So about right here, I'm just going to come right back here, armpit area, and then I'm just going to draw an ankle line that comes down to about right there, and then I'm going to come out. So let's go do the same thing here. We're just going to thicken this up. Elbow, and come down for her hand and finger. And then once again, we're just gonna cut it off about right here for her sleeves. And I'll pop this out just a little bit more. And here as well. There, because we have this cloak that we need to put down. So let's come here and we're just gonna imagine this is coming through. And about right here, I'll stop and then just wiggle in. And then this side's gonna come through. So say about right here. And I'll just flare this one out a little bit just to give it some movement and come in there. So hopefully that looks like she has a cloak on. Okay, there. And then for some details, we can come back in here and I'll just draw like maybe two X's. And let's see, I'm gonna put the center line down and then some of these lines. Just for some details lightly. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's I'm gonna come back right here, almost forgot. I'm just gonna give her a heart necklace because she's my draw so cute Sarah, right? And I'll just put a little heart necklace there. And then now we can go ahead and finish her beautiful hair. So I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna wobble my way down. 
And same thing here, wobble, because it's much curlier, curlier towards the bottom. And then you can do this when you're coloring, but let's come in here with some strands to give her hair some detail. And that is pretty much it for my version here of Sarah Sanderson, the cute witch from Hocus Pocus. I really hope you love her just as much as the one I drew of Winifred. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to draw the last sister from Hocus Pocus. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.